the number one thing is that most of the engineers never wanted to be engineers and it's not like they did not want to be engineers someone forced them to become an engineer they did not know what they wanted to do right so even if you go to them and say that hey you never wanted to be an engineer today i'm giving you an opportunity you can become whatever you want you want to become a history major go ahead you want to go in finance go ahead you want to become a painter go ahead so what are you going to choose and most people are going to say i don't know so the problem is not that our last generation has forced most of us to pursue a career in engineering the problem is that most of us do not know what we want to do because even when you get into engineering there are plenty of opportunities for you to switch fields but when you are in engineering and it's not only that you do not want to do engineering but also you do not know what you want to do in life that's when the problem starts and i'll explain it what is the problem the problem is that now the sole objective of your life is to get any job that can give you an income and that is why people go for other field which is fine see a uh, few days ago i was talking to a person on call who was a telephonic consultancy and he said clearly see ashish i am not interested in engineering right and currently i'm working in this xyz power plant and it's a core electrical engineering work and i'm also getting an offer from amazon equal pay but it is a job related to sales like b2b i think or b2c so what should i do i said that see you don't like engineering and you have already seen it through theory and through practice that you don't like it and if you are going to get any employment and if it is equal in amazon and also he was having problems related to posting a lot of people do not understand that core field um, engineers have a posting problem majority of the time and that is what i'm going to get into as well like you are not going to create a nuclear power plant just beside a mall right it's not going to happen so although you can have tech companies you can have microsoft offices or uh, google offices or amazon offices just in 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 the middle of the civilization but these power plants or manufacturing industries they're generally in the exterior a lot of these industries let us say it is a chemical plant has to be far away because they cannot just throw away their waste in the middle of a city so most of these engineers will have to be working in a very exterior part uh, the 2.5 years that i was working as an engineer i was in proper cities for less than 10 to 20% of the time most of the time i was residing in some exterior part which is like great sea city or so far away from metropolitan cities far away from capital of any state but yeah a lot of engineers switch to non core fields like it or the new one these days is data science like they just do a course in data science Uh, i'm sure that a lot of these iits have also started uh, doing this because i think i was talking to one student at a speaking today itself that's what she said and uh, she was earlier preparing for civil services examination for 2 to 3 years and uh, did not work out for her so she started working towards some soft field right and she was originally a civil engineer but when after 3 years of preparation of civil services when she started to look for construction companies and core field companies and they all said that you do not have any work experience there's a big gap so now she has to switch fields so it was some iit from which she was doing a course it was a short course i think one one year or so okay so this is the reason why a lot of them are switching fields the another reason why it be might be the lack of vacancies very few vacancies are coming up and core fields do not have a lot of private companies even though they are private companies they are definitely going to ask for work experience that's the problem i was never able to get into some automobile engineering sector uh, automobile engineering company because all the automobile engineering companies are uh, private right like you can look at tata maruti and mahindra and you can keep on going all of them are private and a lot of them just ask for past work experiences or a lot of times they are asking for references as well of a person who is actually still working in that company so it does not uh, it does not come that easy if your co- college is like top tier college then they are going to come to your campus placement and that's it 
so core companies who are in private sector it is difficult for you to get in at the same time government is not releasing vacancies so what are core engineers from private colleges going to do well they go for it sector jobs or they go for the soft careers or they become bloggers <laughs> no so that's the reason and it's completely understandable see that is the first and foremost requirement and there's absolutely nothing wrong you want an employment go get it you're not interested in engineering completely understand it buddy but the problem begins when you are not even trying to look for what you are interested in like how long are you going to have a soul crushing job which you do not enjoy ultimately it is going to become a 9 to 5 right and ultimately it is going to become a paycheck to paycheck you are going to get a lot of money as in the form of salary on first you're going to be super happy and your happiness depreciates just like your bank balance <laughs> by the end of the month okay so that's the reason a lot of reasons are there and that is why like to people uh, who are in senior secondary and trying to choose a career let us say they chose engineering you should always be very particular towards what are you interested in I get this question a lot of times which is the best field to get into isro that is the stupidest question i've heard till date so any field you are interested towards you should go towards that looking at a company which i'm sure you barely know anything about like what does it do or what is your life going to be being a scientist at isro why are you deciding your entire career to what let us say you are interested in bioscience are you going to study aerospace engineering to get into isro or do you think you will be able to study aerospace engineering that well knowing that you don't like it and you like bioscience and are you going to be so good that you are going to be competing with lakhs of people who also want to get into isro that life is a terrible life that i never wish even on my enemies so you should always pick a core uh, a field in which you are interested towards but anyways to those who have already gotten into it you should always think towards switching it a lot of people are doing it like this is this has become so common that people from core fields like civil engineering uh, mechanical engineering electrical engineering they are going abroad and they are again picking subjects like data science and doing ms in that or data analytics analytics one is a big one these days so they're just switching careers and that is also again possible i can understand that you have spent 4 years but you deep down know whether you want to pursue a career in this field or not so that's how it goes okay next one what is this uh, hello ashish bro please do a podcast on effects of unemployment and how it has affected you till now physically